Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, information, uh, education, guidance, advice. And in the last year and a half, the last two years, I've gone through far too many funerals, a lot more funerals than weddings. And each time, it takes so much out of me. Many times in cemeteries at the edge of the grave, I've held close grieving family members of the deceased and just tried what I could uh, to comfort them as best I could. Um, words are so feeble at that time. And so n n anything you say is just woefully inadequate. But I am often reminded at times like those um, of Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdichev. He lost his son. His son died. Rabbi Levi Yitzhak, as he was following the bier, as he was following the casket to the cemetery, Rabbi Levi Yitzhak danced. He danced behind the bier. And some of his chassidim that could not refrain from expressing their astonishment. A man loses his son and he's dancing and just expressing such joy and such fervor. They were amazed. And they were astonished. And Rebbe Levi said, a pure soul, he said, a pure soul was given to me. A pure soul I am giving back. He says his, he was given the gift of such a wonderful boy. And that boy kept his innocence and his holiness and his goodness. And he was joyful that he was able to give back to Hashem that good pure, perfect soul that was for all too brief a time given to Rebbe Levi Yitzhak to care for. Um, I have never danced at a funeral, but then again, I'm not Rebbe Levi Yitzhak of Berdichev. Um, I have a feeling that I am at that stage of life where I am going to a lot of funerals. They're sad, but they're also opportunities to reflect. People get very pensive, as well they should, uh, when they're standing at the edge of a grave and they're looking into the hole and they're seeing those clumps of clay falling in and they hear that sound, that sound of a clod of earth hitting a coffin. Nothing else sounds like that. That is the sound mortality and to be able when you're in the depths of that grief and that despair to be able to lift your thoughts toward the creator and this is part of life our souls are coming back to you and may they be uh, as pure as they were when you gave them to us we're going to be doing more videos along these lines please come back Please watch. Please learn. And I hope you're finding them of some inspiration. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you to watch.